continue with the acclamation, page 3. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. Please join me in the comment for purity. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear what our Lord Jesus Christ says. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like it, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. We continue with our song of praise. Now, I dwell in a house of cedar, but the ark of God 
dwells in a tent. And Nathan said to the king, Go, do all that is in your heart, for the Lord is with you. But that same night, the word of the Lord came to Nathan, Go and tell my servant David, Thus says the Lord, Would you build me a house to dwell in? I have not lived in a house since the day I brought up the people of Israel from Egypt to this day, but I have been moving about in a tent for my dwelling. In all places where I have moved with all the people of Israel, did I speak a word with any of them, any of the judges of Israel whom I commanded to shepherd my people Israel, saying, Why have you not built me a house of cedar? Now therefore, thus you shall say to my servant David, Thus says the Lord of hosts, I took you from the pasture, from following the sheep, that you should be prince over my people Israel. And I have been with you wherever you went, and have cut off all your enemies from before you. And I will make you for you a great name, like the name of the great ones of the earth. And I will appoint a place for my people Israel, and will plant them, so that they may dwell in their own place, and be disturbed no more. And violent men shall afflict them no more, as formerly, from the time that I appointed judges over my people Israel. And I will give you rest from all the enemies. Moreover, the Lord declares to you that the Lord will make you a house. When your days are fulfilled and you lie down with your fathers, I will raise up your offspring after you who shall come from your body, and I will establish his kingdom. He shall build a house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. When he commits iniquity, I will discipline him with the rod of men, with the stripes of the sons of men. But my steadfast love will not depart from him, as I took it from Saul, whom I would put away from before you. And your house and your kingdom shall be made sure forever before me. Your throne shall be established forever. In accordance with all these words, in accordance with all this vision, Nathan spoke to David the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We will read the psalm responsibly by whole verse. Arise, O Lord, into your resting place, you and the ark of your strength. Let your peace be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints sing for joy. For your servant David's sake, turn not away the presence of your anointed. The Lord has made a faithful hope unto David, and he shall not shrink from it. Of the fruit of your body shall I sit upon your throne. If your children will be my covenant and my testimonies that I shall teach them, their children also shall sit upon your throne forevermore. For the Lord has chosen Zion for himself. He has longed for her to be his habitation. This shall be my rest forever. Here will I dwell. For I have a delight therein. I will bless her provisions with increase and will satisfy her poor with bread. I will clothe her priests with salvation, and her saints shall rejoice in sin. There shall I make the horn of David flourish. I have prepared a lantern for my anointed. As for his enemies, I shall clothe them with shame. But upon his head shall his crown flourish. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A reading from the book of Romans. Now to him who is able to strengthen you according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery that was kept secret for long ages, but has now been disclosed and through the prophetic writings has been made known to all nations according to the command of the eternal God to bring about the obedience of faith to the only wise God be glory forever 
through Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand for the gospel hymn and remain standing for the reading of the gospel. <laughs>
David did dance before the Lord. So there's a time. That's good. <laughs> the big thing these days is reveal parties. Crowds get together to hear a dramatic presentation of what sex the new baby will be uh, to the prospective parents. We were, many of you perhaps were of that generation where we just simply waited. <laughs> and uh, we were happily surprised uh, at the birth of our children. Recently I read of a couple whose prospective dad was an NFL offensive lineman and it was revealed to them in a very large crowd over the PA system at a football stadium before game <laughs> that they were to have a baby girl. That's pretty dramatic reveal party, I would say. A much more dramatic, though more private, reveal was made to a young Jewish girl a couple of thousand years ago. Mary was still a teenager. She was a virgin. In that culture, Though quite young, couples were engaged uh, sometimes a good while before they were to be married. And she was engaged to an older man named Joseph. He was not a wealthy man, but he could trace his ancestry back uh, through the line of King David. Well, Mary was at home in the city of of Nazareth in the region of Galilee and one day she was visited by a heavenly messenger an angel named Gabriel now 500 years earlier this same angel had visited with the prophet Daniel well the angel spoke to her and said "O oh, favored one. The Lord is with you. Well, what a shock, I'm sure, to this young teenager. But the angel said, hey, rejoice. Well, her first response was, she was greatly troubled by this, the text says. Perhaps one of the things that was going through her mind is that she knew the story of the great prophet Daniel. She also knew that Gabriel the angel didn't visit that many people, and yet here he is on her doorstep. I'm here to tell you, Mary, that you're going to have a baby boy. I didn't think I was pregnant. <laughs> I've been faithful to the laws of engagement. Joseph and I have not yet been together, so how is this possible? The Holy Spirit will take care of this. You will become pregnant, you're going to go through the entire birthing process, and you're going to give birth to a baby boy, Jesus, who is, by the way, God <laughs> in the flesh. Now, you talk about a reveal party. <laughs> that was huge news. You're giving birth to a baby who is God in the flesh. And Mary's response is the purest expression of simple, living, loving faith. What did she say? Behold. I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. That's awesome. In other words, I will follow God. I will trust him. I believe you. And if there were any remaining doubts, the angel reassured her, for nothing will be impossible. The nine months would prove to be a challenge. 
in many ways. Mary and Joseph were given the reveal party by these angels, by this angel. I mean, they knew, but no one else was invited to the party. So when people saw this betrothed yet pregnant teenager, their eyebrows raised with self-righteousness. Mary and Joseph had to endure this the whole time. And at first, Joseph had a mind to ditch her. But in Matthew's gospel, we read that an angel came to Joseph as well. And he said to him, Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary as your wife, for that which is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you will call his name Jesus, which by the way means Yahweh saves. And the text goes on to say, for he will save his people from their sins. So like Mary, Joseph too walked on in faith upon hearing this news. He believed the word of God. If you are a Christian, I pray that together we might express and live the same faith as that of Joseph and Mary. God has purposed to work in our lives as much as he did Mary and Joseph. We may not be giving birth to the Son of God, but we are called to bear the name of God and give praise to his name, not only with our lips, but in our lives. He wants us, too, to believe his word just like they did to trust his son, Jesus, to believe that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. God is at work in your life with his blessings in tow. So with Mary, let us say, behold, I am a servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. Please stand as we do. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is visible and invisible. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was a man. man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, we acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, 
We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. You may, you may sit.